Thank you so much for stopping by. So this is episode two of season one of the Beading series. We've already done episode one, so make sure you do check it out if you've not done so already. Yeah, we are doing this gorgeous, nice, beautiful slippers. Is this not beautiful? Yeah. So kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. And let's go. So I'm starting off with this stiff, tailor stiff. It's mostly used by Sempress. I'm using my 0.25 fashion line as a guide to draw a circle on it. You can use anything, just get any round thing to draw a circle on the stiff. That's the name I know for it, a stiff. So can just check it out. I'm drawing a nice circle. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. That's the piece we'll be working on. I'm using 98 um, needle size 98 and 0 0.025 thread and um, seed beads size 2. So I'm threading my needle. Threading the needle just like the way you thread needle to sew. Yeah, I'm threading it to a reasonable length. About 70 centimeters or something. Any length you want to start with, I be comfortable working with. So make sure you tie and cut the excess off. Sorry about that light. I don't know why it keeps going low when I take my hand off and comes back when I bring back my hand. So that's my seed bead. I mix them with my um I mix different different seed beads. So the mixture I did it myself. You can mix any colors you want, it all depends on you. I'm starting off by putting the needle on the circle you are going to go around the circle so i'm putting the needle on the circle straight to the back and then bring it back to the front again i do so just to get the knots be tied on the front side because the back will be touching your leg maybe you don't want anything to be piercing you i'm picking eight seed beads Eight. 
and I use four seed bead lengths as the interval between each semicircle of the foreman. So I counted four seed bead and I put the needle right where the fourth one ends. That will be the interval of using throughout. That's just to serve as a guide to where you should put your needle next. I think the thread tangled a little so I was trying to get it back. I'm coming back to the front right through the middle of the semicircle yeah but make sure you come out through the front not the back of the semicircle the front and we are picking another CB8 like we picked and then repeating the process till we complete the whole circle So eight, leave about four seed bead length interval, then we go through the stiff to the back. Then we come back through the middle of our new semicircle. So I'm going to repeat the process till so we get to the other end of the semi of the circle, sorry.
So if your thread ever gets short, just cut and then tie it nicely like so. Then you thread your needle back and continue what you are doing. I'm just going to continue picking my 80 beads. You make sure you end the circle right where we began. You don't want to leave any space anywhere. So right in front of the first and the second. So this is a complete circle. We use each seed bead for the first circle. So you can choose to draw another circle right in front of the bead or just imagine a circle and go ahead. So the second circle will be inside and we are going to increase the number by 2 so we are going to pick 10 seed beads so we complete that same circle again then we pick 12 so we will be increasing it by 2 8, 10, 12 I ended up picking 20 seed beads when I got to the last circle that was the innermost one so I hope this was helpful make sure you give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the video
yeah so this episode two of season one nicely done is this not beautiful yeah so let's welcome episode three So this is episode 3, this is what we'll be doing in episode 3. So make sure you do subscribe and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified anytime I upload the next video, which will be the next day after episode 2. Yeah. And I'll leave description of all the materials used in the description box so you won't be left out. You know what was used. And if you have any question, any comments, leave it and I'll get back to you. Bye.